Starting a degree can be daunting, especially if you spent some time outside of education. In this video, we're going to be providing six tips to prepare yourself for a degree in quantity surveying. Before we begin, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It really helps us to provide valuable content to a wider audience. Tip one, analyze the reading list. Your university may provide early access to some reading material before the course commences. If so, it would be a good idea to take a look at the reading list provided for upcoming modules. We suggest you write a list of books down and prioritize your own reading list for when you have access to the university library. If you want to get a head start on reading, you could even take a look on Amazon and purchase some material beforehand. Tip two, ensure you're well equipped. Ensuring you're well equipped for university is very important. In terms of stationery, we recommend a pen, a pencil, a rubber, a scientific calculator, a scale ruler, a highlighter, and a notebook. In terms of IT and office equipment, we advise you have a standalone desk where you can carry out your studies. Preferably, this would be in a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. We suggest you have a comfortable chair with good back support and an external mouse and keyboard. We recommend you have two monitors, both equal size next to each other. This will be extremely helpful when essay writing, as it means you'll be able to have your essay on one screen with your research on another. The top of the monitor should be eye level while you're sitting upright. These may seem like trivial points. However, you need to create an environment which allows you to be as productive as possible, ensuring you produce high quality work. Tip three, learn to reference. When writing essays, you will need to reference your work in order to demonstrate your research and provide acknowledgement of other people's work. Failure to do so could result in you being accused of plagiarism. When essay writing, you'll need to follow strict referencing rules and each university has their own specific style for you to follow. Once you've got the hang of referencing, it's easy. However, it can be time consuming as you get started. For that reason, we suggest learning your university's referencing style beforehand. To do this, simply Google the university you're attending, space, referencing style, and you should be able to find a document which explains how your university requires referencing to be carried out. Tip four, know how to structure an essay. A well-structured essay is what enables you to articulate the point you're trying to make in a concise and organized manner. The structure will not only provide you with a clear sense of direction when writing, but will also allow for easy reading. It's also a requirement which is reflected in the marking criteria. For reading on how to structure an essay, we recommend the Essay Writing Guide by Jordan Peterson. We've left a link to this guide in the description of this video. Tip five, know how to format an essay. Once you finish writing your essay, you'll need to format the document. This is discussed in the previously mentioned Essay Writing Guide. However, we advise you learn the following techniques for whichever software you use to write your essay. Cover page, contents page, headers and footers, page breaks, page numbers, and finally, bibliography page. Tip six, learn some basic construction terminology. The construction industry contains many terms which you've probably never heard before, especially if you're a full-time student. For that reason, we recommend you spend some time researching common construction terms. We've left a link below which details the top 100 construction terms. We suggest you rewrite the list and test yourself. If you want to further expand your quantity surveying knowledge, why not visit some of the following playlists? We have the QS Principles series, the JCT series, the NEC series, and the Method of Measurement series. Matrone, commercial hub to your business.